Let me get this collar on and then we can assess She is not the real emergency. Over here. Ed, Jim, need you guys over here now. Eddie, you and Buck deal with the flight attendant. He's having trouble breathing. I thought about pulling it out, but no, you made the right call. Champagne cork? I've seen them take out a knife, but this is in there pretty good. Could be an ankle fracture. Can you wiggle your toes for me? Barely getting any air. It's probably blocking his airways. Not hearing any fluid in his lungs. Oh. And the fact that he's not coughing up blood, which means it probably hasn't pierced his windpipe. Ben, it's just compressing it. Is it just me, or did this guy look familiar? <laughs> the guy that we pulled out of the jet engine. Oh, yeah. This job seems more dangerous than ours. Hey, come on, Daryl. You got to pull through, man. There's no way we can trach him. Obstruction's too low. His cork is surrounded by sharp metal. Try to pull it out and clip his carotid arteries. You gotta try to pull it out really carefully. Because we don't got another choice. So that time playing operation as a kid is finally gonna pay off. You got this, okay? You gotta pull through, man. Sir, I need you to hang back so they can do their work. Look, I know I give you a hard time because you love this stupid job, but for real, it's inspiring. Hold still, sir. I wish I cared about anything as much as you love these bags. Oh, God. It's all rainbows and unicorns on the ground. Just try flying the unfriendly skies. You don't know, Daryl, lady. You need to focus. Steady, hen. Steady. All right, I got it. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, sir. This might hurt. On three. One, two, three. <laughs> Okay. Cheers. Harry, <laughs> ready to move. I knew he pulled through. Nothing stopped Daryl. Not a jet engine. Crazy white ladies. He will not quit. Hmm. What's that, buddy? I quit. Me too. Everyone has their breaking point. Yeah. 